Hey everyone. Okay, so this is part two of answering the question of what do I feed my macaw? Um, so these are some basic treats that I give him. And so these are peanuts in the shell. And there's some debate over peanuts. And uh, some people will say raw peanuts only, uh, roasted peanuts only, uh, peanuts in shell, or no peanuts at all. Um, I'll just kind of leave that up to your discretion. Um, the issue with it is that there's a mold that can be harmful to birds. Um, personally, I say that you know if it looks sketchy, don't buy it. Wait for another batch or buy your peanuts somewhere else. So far, I haven't had any problems, and um, I don't have any no <laughs> wood to knock on. Um, but anyway, use your own discretion. Um, I also have almonds in the shell. And these two, uh, on another video, I showed how I stuffed these into his rubber dog toys. And actually, I'm not sure if I did that or not. But um, I show his toys in another video. Okay. But anyhow, I have raw sunflower seeds. And I give him about this much each day. So it's really not that much. And usually it... I give them a little less and ration it out throughout the day. So like, if I'm going somewhere, um, I give him some treats, give him a little bit of this in his food dish so he knows that when I'm putting him back in his cage, he's not being punished. Because when I first got him, he would just throw a fit when I put him back in his cage because he didn't understand why I was putting him away and leaving. So he's better now. Um, and I also do banana coins. And I stuff these in different toys. So I have a coconut shell that I put some of them in, and then I tuck them in different spots around his cage, and he goes and finds everything. Um, we'll also cut up orange wedges and apple wedges. And this is cherry. Um, the reason why I cut him up into tiny pieces like that is because he has this thing of taking a bite and then letting the rest fall. So if what he gets per bite is what he can eat in one bite, a lot less goes to waste. Um, granted, I put it all in his food bowl, but um, still sometimes he turns his head and whatever he has in his mouth just falls out. You can do this with other fruits if your bird is kind of prone to wasting food like that. and. I don't know. He also will peel everything. So he'll peel the bananas, he'll peel the cherries, and he'll peel grapes. There's also the issue of whether or not to feed your bird grapes um, and what type if you do. But again, I'll leave that to your discretion. Um, there are other fruits that I come by that he'll occasionally eat. I think he was okay with durian and, and grapefruit. And I don't have an actual list of everything else, but uh, usually if he sees me eating something, he'll want it too. So if it's not something I'm willing to give him, then I'll try not to eat in the bird room. And that way he won't get mad at me for eating in front of him. But there's numerous things you can try, and if your bird's reluctant to try, you can stand in front of them and eat it so that they can see that, okay, it's not poisoning mom or dad. Okay, we'll give it a shot. So, um, anyway, um, also, the banana coins I also give to my cockatiels, and they love it too. And so usually by the time I'm done, I've lost half a banana to all the animals in the house, and I really don't have much left to myself, so that might work well for a diet tactic for those of you seeking techniques. Anyhow, um, hopefully this has been helpful, and if anyone else has more questions, feel free to add them, or, and I'll see what I can do to answer them. All right.